Yeah, good question. Um, so I think primarily it's been two or three things. I've seen developments uh, in various stages. So I've seen the consolidation of GBS, so centralization of functions. I've then seen the offshoring of GBS, very much so in Malaysia as well, driven significantly by MDEC and the investments and support MDEC have given. And then the third area I've seen has been um, in increased and improved automation. I, I don't think that's yet finished, but, but that's certainly something that's happened more and more over the last few years. Yeah, I think five, five plus years. I think, I think GBS still has a long way to go. I, I think it's got um, significant value it can add both to internal customers and shared service centers and also to um, enterprises from uh, managed services and BPO type service providers. So I think there's two or three things that are gonna happen. One is I, I've already spoken about the increased automation. So service providers, shared service centers, BPS um, organizations, GBS organizations need to focus on that automation. Technology is changing at the fastest rate ever in our history and, and the GBS organizations need to keep up with that. That's, that's one. The second is we need to reimagine ourselves in GBS. We need to have a look at really what we're trying to achieve and how best to achieve it, as I said before, as opposed to trying to optimize what we're doing today. Optimization of a legacy type process is not going to provide the optimal outcome for a business. So that's the second one. And the third one is, is knowledge workforce. So knowledge workforce, knowledge requirements are becoming more and more and more in the GBS work environment. So taking that on board, developing talent on an ongoing basis in Malaysia to be able to support that, that, that increased um, knowledge management, knowledge workforce is going to be essential for success and also keep Malaysia at the forefront of the industry. The level of individual that attends is extremely high. So these are practitioner leads, these are leaders within their organizations, be they providing services or receiving services. It's, it's an environment that I personally quite like, which is where everyone's open to be challenged and to challenge rather than just to listen and take away. And I think that adds to a great interactive and value added environment. And, and that's the reason I keep coming.